In this video I'll be using root policy to disable Brave VPN in Brave browser. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also in the bottom of the page you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup. And there is also a video about installing policy templates to manage Brave browser settings via group policy. But in this video I will not be using policy templates because the setting right here is not available in policy templates and I will be deploying it by creating a registry entry in Windows registry. And here you can also find the policy location and all the values that I will be using in this video. And now I will begin this video by going to VMware Workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I will be creating my group policy. So I will go to Tools, Group Policy Management, then I will right click on Group Policy Objects, select New, I will name the policy Brave settings and then I will click OK. Then I will expand group policy objects, select the policy that I created, then I will right click on it and select edit. And because the policy that I will be creating will be for my computers, I will go to computer configuration, preferences, windows settings and registry. Then I will right click in the window here, go to new and registry item. And here for the action I will leave it on update for the hive, I will also leave it at local machine and for the key path, I will go back to my GitHub page because like I said before, I have all the values that I will be using. So I will select the key path, I will copy it and I will insert the value here. Same goes for the value name, I will go here, copy the name, go back to my virtual machine and insert the value here. For value type, I will select the word and for the value data, I will enter one. Then I will click on apply and OK. And that's basically it. Now we can close the policy window. Let's go to details and for GPO status, I will select user configuration settings disabled because this policy currently has only computer settings in it. And after creating my policy, I need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which I want to disable the Brave VPN. And in my case, I will expand this organization unit and the organization unit with my computers is this one. So I'll click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. Then I will click OK and as you can see the policy appeared here and also in the window here. And that's basically it. Now to test this policy I will go to one of my client machines. I will open Brave. And as you can see we have the VPN button here and that's because the policy didn't have enough time to update. So I will go to my start menu, here I will search for CMD, I will open it and I will type GP update. And then I will press enter and now let's wait for the policy to update. And the policy is finished updating, so if I go back to my Brave browser, you can see that I no longer have the Brave VPN button here. And that's basically it for this video, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.